So this is this is of your own as well. For example, yes, something like this uh, home page. Then you can have you know you can register yourself here. For example, you can sign up here. Let's use a name as um, you know. Let's type Rohan. And let's type the password one, two, three. So what we have done here, we have just signed up. It's working. Since we are running it for the first time in this first session, it, it will take some time, but after running it again, it will get smooth. So what we have done, we have just signed up here. Now, so once you log in here, You can see the name we had typed, we, it got displayed here, right? And we can move to other pages like academic record, achievements, show certificates, and profile, and many more things. I hope there's nothing in the profile. We can add a photo as well. We can see other things as well, right? So this is how we can, you know, create a, how we can create a website by ourselves, right? And now you're wondering, sir, how was it able to, you know, uh, check the password and uh, store, there must be something, it's storing its password, right? There must be something. So for that, what we use is, we use database. And here we are using a database known as MySQL, right? So a relational database. So there's some uh, So when we are clicking at sign up, let's see, select in as from name command. Let me see what I Just understand what is this, what's all this, the movie. Yeah. Select from we can see that we had just entered Rohan. As you can see, we have Rohan Rohan here, and the password that we had entered is one two three. That means all the data got stored here. And what we did, we just fetched it and we used it in our website. Right. I want you to install a few softwares. First is NetBeans. Second is MySQL. Right. 
So these two are the softwares that we need to install to create a website like this. Right. Otherwise, I guess we have all the required things. You all have Java installed in your laptops or computers, whatever you're using, right? So that would be well. Java eight is preferred here. Java eight is preferred here. So these three things will need at most to create a our software, right? And we'll be creating our software, our web application in JSP. What is JSP? Makes it easy that we can create our and it's not that, you know, it's not that easy and it's really hard to learn that in less time okay so we'll be using just jsp which is part of java only like specific part for java subject so, yeah. so i want you all to note this thing netbeans 8 if netbeans 8 will get installed yeah and then mysql then java so will you all be able to install them? Hello. You can. Yes. Uh, who's this? Uh, so Shantanu. Uh, yes, can we use Eclipse instead of uh, NetBeans? Mm, well, actually, Shantanu, I don't have much idea about Eclipse, but uh, if you can, have you ever, you know, uh, yeah, created any projects in Eclipse before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah, so that's that's okay. Then it, it doesn't matter if you are able to run a project. If you are able to start a server, then it's okay. It's completely yeah. okay. Okay, okay. Thank you. And uh, what database do you use then? Uh, no, I never uh, use Eclipse for data, uh, right? database and all. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, so there must be an but option. I have MySQL installed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can surely go through YouTube and you'll get a lots of. Uh, Okay. you know videos yeah. otherwise you can install netbeans 8 netbeans and we can work with that as well okay okay yeah, so it's up to you what you have to do yeah thank you so uh, is, uh, hmm. so i hope you all will install this software now uh, we are going to learn okay so first of all yeah when you'll install this software we'll see about that now what we need is we need to learn something like So before that, we must know how to create a web page, right? So for that, we must know how to create a web page. So let's learn how to create a small, simple web page. Have you guys heard about HTML and CSS? I bet you have. But have you? Yes, sir. And uh, what is this HTML and CSS? What is this? Thing. What? What? Why? Why is it used? What? What is this thing used for? So HTML is uh, like it's something like we are basically creating the front page part of a like the page web page, and uh, CSS is like it's designing basically. Yeah, you are. The web you are page uh, is almost with... correct. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's definitely so that HTML and CSS are being used to create websites. HTML is used to structure a web page, and CSS is used to style those web pages. All right. Yes. So here we are going to create a file. You can, uh, those who are not aware of it, you can learn it from here. Right. We are making a file. The home dot with the name home dot HTML. So let's open with. It with not that plus plus as well. Now, the simple syntax. The simple syntax. See, we are not going to learn here HTML and CSS in, in very deep, but we are going to learn it in uh, up to that level that we can make a simple project. Right. So, the basic syntax of creating 
in HTML pages, something like this. Right. Head, head, body, in this one. Just the same. Tags, tags. This is all tags. This is HTML tag. So, and this is head tag. This is body tag. What the word I'm using here is tag. Okay. So, this is a basic, you know, structure of a, how to write an HTML code. Right. So, first thing that we are going to do here is now HTML has many elements, right? Many elements, and uh, the basic one here we are going to study about this. So, first that we are going to study about is a heading tag right what is this a heading tag so um, in html most of the tags are like this one this like this like we have to open a tag then we have to close that tag, right and we can write something in that tag hello world for example we write this in this syntax so we have saved a file here right now if we click it So it must, yeah. So it will just open like any other web page. See, it's just like an it works like a web page, right? You can see this. What that H1 tag was that that H1 tag was for a heading tag, right? So we have many tags here. H1, then we have H2. Then we have H3, H4, H5, and H6. Always remember the tag that we are using to open, to write anything, must close that thing as well. All right. So, because in HTML success, you won't see any error because you don't have to compile anything. You won't see any error. But if you write something wrong, then there will be problems. Yeah, so when we refresh this page, we can see. Can you all see that how the, those H1, H2, H3, H4 tags work here? Right? We got headings, but in a smaller size. Okay. So this is how H1 tag works. Now we are going to use another tag, which is. Let me see. So what is this H1 tag for? Tell me. What is this H1 tag for? Header it's tag. for heading. Yeah. Call it heading. And uh, another thing, in order to comment something in an HTML page, you must write it between these. Between these two, you know, heading tag. Right. Now we have one more thing in our head tag, right? We write as title. So what type? What does title mean? So you can see here that uh, yeah, what we see here it's home.html, right? Yeah, look at my cursor. It's home.html. When we refresh it, right? it's still home.html. But now when we write something in the title. Confirm it. Hello. Whether it's yeah, you can see that what's our title has changed with hello, right? So you can change the title of your web page using the title tag. Now another thing that we have to write here is P. So P here stands for paragraph. P here stands for paragraph. So this is a new web page. It's just a basic or HTML page. Yeah. Now another thing that we are going to use is we are going to just look at some basic tags 
an HTML basis. So now the tag that we are using is center. Web page, right. So is there anything between these tags, these two tags, these two center tags? Have you done anything? No, we haven't written anything. That means it won't work right now. But what if we just take it here from here and paste it here? Now, what should be the output? What we have done is we have done this. Uh, this. this web page is over at the center right here. Yeah, so whatever we have written heading and paragraph, it will get displayed in the mm -hmm. center of our web page. Right? Is that understood till here? Any doubts? I don't think there should be doubt. It's I guess it's easy to understand. You just have to type it by yourself and you'll get handy with it. Right. Now another thing another tags that we are going to use here is yeah. Mm, for example, let's use a list or let's use a break tag. If you write another paragraph. So this is another paragraph tag. Now what what if we want what if we want we don't want to write two paragraphs. Right? We don't want to use two paragraph tags, we just want to use one paragraph. But we want the content to be separated. Then in this case, what will we use here is a break tag. Right. So what tag we, did we use here is? We used break tag. Break. So what it does, it just breaks the line. It breaks the line and moves the content to the next line. Okay. And one more thing about this is, it does not need a closing tag. Does not need a closing tag. Okay, so one more thing that, uh, does anyone know full form of HTML? Hypertext markup language. Yeah, that's correct. Hypertext. Markup. This was it. Yeah. So we just discussed about three tag, three to four tags here. Center, H1, P, then break. And up and then break. Now another thing that we are going to use here is another tag is yeah. So let's take a List. List. So it's UL. Yeah. Now, what does UL stand for? It stands for unordered list. Ordered. Unordered list. what is this unordered list we can we'll see that in just a minute and uh, for example we need to create a list right we need to create a list and for a list to be created what we need we need list items as well so these tags are used to create list items for example we write here as one Let's write something else. Let's write Java, then let's write C, C plus plus, then let's write Python here. So when we are going to refresh our browser, what we'll see, we can see a list getting a list here with Java, C, C plus plus, and Python. 
and here this list is unordered that means it's not in an order you can see just some black dots here to define a list now another thing that we have ordered list what this stand for what ol stands for is ordered list next In paste this thing. You can see it converts, gets into an order, and we can see it in an order. So these are some basic tags of HTML CSS. Uh, HTML. So So, is it is everything clear up to now? Is there any problem in this thing? Any doubts? No, sir. Hello. No, if sir. you have any doubt, please let me know about anything here. Okay, all right. Now we are going to learn another thing. So we have another tag which is let's okay, we have it. Let's move this center, center tag. This is the base of our HTML, and uh, we have this thing called HR. Now, what is it? We'll continue it soon. You can see a horizontal row here. Horizontal line here. This line yes, here. Sir. How is it, is it due to? It is due to this HR tag. Right. Now, we are trying to create a simple HTML table. Okay. We are trying to create a HTML table. So, we have a table that and in a table, what do we need? We need few things like, mm, yeah, table row. We need a table row. And the table row, we need a table data. Let's make it a little clear here. Example, let us assume that we need two data. For example, first our data is A, B. For example, let's write it as a name. Let's write A, B, C. And I'm going to be here. Then D, E, F. H I then so when we run this, you can see a small table with rows and columns getting formed here, right? Now, if you want to decorate our table a little, so we'll just use uh, just type border. Let's so what is this one here? It will be one px. Uh, okay. So in our HTML and CSS, so what we have here, uh, see, we have units everywhere, right? So in HTML CSS, our unit is px. Px stands for pixel, right? With equals to, you write it or you write it not, it doesn't matter. Right? If you want to specify the unit, you can. If you don't, you don't. So when this happens. When we we set up, you can see a table table getting formed, right? So this is a basic HTML CSS table, which is okay. We can use another. We have another thing in this table. 
which is table head we were heading to a table so th and th name and yes so you can see that we have a table here with all the fields here right so these are some basic things in our html we'll learn about more of them so uh let's let's get to another So for example, let's take another egg. It's clear to me, right? Any doubts, anyone? No doubts? No, sir. OK, then. Yeah. So we have another thing. Mm. So, well, I'll suggest you one thing that if you want to learn more about the HTML and CSS, and indeed, like I'm just you know, uh, telling you in this, you know, brief, but if you want to learn it indeed, there's a site, w3schools.com. Right. Let's, let's go there only. It's a good site. You can learn about HTML and CSS there. References, exercises, learn HTML. So, if you want to learn more about HTML, it has a whole, it's a lot to learn from here. You can learn CSS and other things as well. Yeah. But here we are going to learn just few things that are necessary here for our project. Okay. So, the, you know, was it W3 school or W3 schools? It was schools. You'll we'll get it. So, another tag that we are going to learn here is um, we have learned about this one, this one. Yeah. So, we have another tag which is known as input. Input tag. So input tag is just like br and hr tag. Right? Like it does not need a closing tag. It does not need a closing tag. And now we can specify with what type of input do we want here. If we write text here, if we write text here. What we can have here? You can see a text field here. Right? We write something in it. Okay. Now another thing is, what if we write password here? We have a text field at this time. When we type anything, it gets stored as a password here. What if we write input type equals button? We can see a button here. Right. But we need a value in this button. So we type here click. Right. You can see a button here. Right. So we'll be learning some, uh, yeah, we're learning some apps to, we can even make a calculator using this HTML and CSS online uh, web page with calculator. Uh, if you want that as a project, please let me know. So we'll learn that as a project as well. Otherwise, we'll continue with that, our website, a simple website. Okay. So another thing that we have here is, Discuss about button. Yeah. So another thing that we are going to learn here is what we'll be needing in our website is mm, we are done with this, this, and yeah, we have another thing which is a checkbox. What is a checkbox? We'll just see here. In input type equals to check box. Right. 
have a checkbox here. And uh, let's try the value value. Here. We don't need to specify a value in a chat box. We just need to write it just before this so that we can see something here. Let's write C and then let's write. Now, when we just refresh our page, we can see many checkboxes here, for example, and now we can even click on them and we can check them. So this is how we create a checkbox in our HTML page, right? Is it clear here, till here? Another thing that we are going to use here is, yeah, radio button. So what is a radio button? Radio and the name equals to mm, let's change then Python. So, and uh, why have we given name all all of them a same name? We'll discuss that in a moment, right? But we have created radio buttons here. So let us put these check boxes, and we can see we have radio buttons here. Now, what if I want to align them in a line? You can use break tag. So that just fits in different lines, right? Or we can put them inside tables as well. So it will get arranged even properly. So now, okay. So what if we give them different names here? Then we can check this one too. We can check all of them, right? Okay, we didn't uh, refresh it, right? Now, when they have different names, then what happens? All of them get selected, but we won't, don't want that, right? We want all of, one of them to get selected. So we give them same name so that only one of them can get selected out of three. So this is how radio button works, right? Now, another thing that we are going to use here is, see, these all these tools, are used in your web website so you can learn as many as tools as you want you can make your site as much as creative if you want now what is this what we are using here is you can call it choice as well or we can call it combo box When we refresh it, now you can we have one box here, and we can select any of the languages here. Right. So this is how our combo box works. Right. Is it understood till here? Any doubts? 
okay now another thing that we have here is input that equals to so we are going to really fast that equals to number now we can even set its range here but for now let's Right, using the number tag here. Another tag that we have here is an input tag only. Another type of input tag we have here is date. And you know, use any date here. Let's select this one. So we can have a date here as well. So you all can see all these things here. Now there will be tasks for you. Now, what the task will be, you have to make a login form. Login form, or just uh, yeah, you can make a login form with the input fields like you want a password, username, then date of birth, then you want uh, what do you want here is uh, you can keep options like you need to make a response, it just make something like this I'm not going to make the complete thing here Wait. let's make a table For example, you have written your name. Then what you can write here is input that equals to text. Right. So when we just refresh our browser, we can see a name and a text with it. Okay, you one more thing that you can use here is cell padding. You want every cell padding to be like 20. We can see a little space in between them. Now, another thing that we are going to write here is um, like name, password. Now, you have to add remaining things. I'm going to write here. You can just note it down. What things you have to add here? Yeah, so we have name here, then we have password, right? Then we have an option of gender, then we have an option of date of birth, then we have an option of languages. No, here we are talking about the programming languages, and you have to use a checkbox here, right? And, and then you know, we have to use a radio button here. Okay. Now, another thing that we need here is, and we need a button. With the value submit, like, really will understand what we need here. We need more here later. But till now, I want a form with these fields. Right, it should look like a form. Yeah. So this much is enough for today. If you have any doubts, please let me know. Any doubts or anything that you couldn't understand today? Yes, sir. And hope that you'll all be 
present every day because you miss even a single day you may not be able to make a project because 